So Splunk is nothing but as it's a security incident and event management tool. It's basically a logical infrastructure. You cannot go and touch Splunk because sometimes in the interview I uh, have seen that many candidates, they don't have this concept that it's a logical or physical. No, Splunk is totally logical infrastructure. Okay, you cannot go and touch it. It's a logical infrastructure. It's a software which brings out insights from machine data and other big forms of data. Okay, so let's say you are um, working in any uh, e-commerce company or let's say you are working in big banks you will be dealing with lots of data okay so this particular software which brings out all the data together in one uh, box so that you can get insights from that data so splunk basically helps you to read unstructured semi-structured and structured data now what is unstructured semi-structured and structured data any data when it is in docx format pptx jpeg this is unstructured data when the data is in xml format that is structured markup language format it's a semi-structured data when the data is in tabular format in excel format then it's called a structured data which is the xls format so splunk will help you to read the data okay which will help you to perform searching mechanism creation of dashboards reports etc now from where you will get the data this data will come from the endpoint devices that means the desktop the laptops which are being used in order to uh, perform your business work in the enterprise it will come from the servers it will come from the applications it will come from the database it will come from the operating system these are the data that splunk will be collecting so Splunk is a tool which will help you to ingest big data from various sources. It can be your endpoint device, it can be your server, it can be your application, it can be your database, which may or may not be machine data, but you can also perform analytics on the data that you have ingested. So in a nutshell, Splunk has the features to perform data ingestion, data indexing, data searching, alert creation, dashboard creation, data model creation. Now in this course, I will teach you how to install Splunk, how to ingest data, how to create logs, how to ingest those logs in different indexes. Then I will slowly teach you how to write queries in Splunk to perform the data searching, to create alerts, to create dashboards, to create data models. Once you learn the Splunk processing language, you will be very easily can create any alerts can perform data analytics and can perform good dashboards as well which is very essential when you are working in any dynamic client environment so now how the splunk works what is the architecture what is there in the heart of the splunk now splunk has three main components which is considered as forwarder indexer and searcher Forwarder, as you can see over in this diagram, is basically the collector. It's collecting the logs from where? From those endpoint devices, from your security devices, your firewall, your uh, antivirus, your next generation antivirus, your anti-defacement solution. Okay. Now, then these logs are forwarded to the indexer where the logs are getting stored. These indexers are nothing but your black boxes where the logs are getting stored. Now, you can store all the logs in one box or in multiple boxes when there are multiple boxes it is called multiple indexes now these indexes are then connected to the search head in the search head you will write the search queries which is called the splunk processing language to perform the searching mechanism to get the insights of the data to understand how the data is traveling to understand the data lineage and to present different dashboards and data models to the client if any attack happens, Splunk will help you to identify those attacks. So Splunk indirectly helps in incident management as well. You can use the logs to investigate the incidents, to understand the root cause and to prevent recurrence of those incidents. So this is how the architecture of the Splunk is designed.